I am a government bureaucrat uh, from the CDC. <laughs> oh. You are contagious for 10 days. 10. Okay, you're contagious for five days. Or it could be 20 or 15. Five. It's, it's five now. So, yeah, just, it's five. I think they're going to get frustrated if we just... Okay. Okay, like I said, so it's five days, give or take five. You could, you could give five or take five. Or... We just really need people to fly planes and uh, play football. <laughs> I mean, can we just be honest? Don't question the science. Trust the science, they said, as, of course, they conveniently keep changing it for their benefit and the benefit of their friends. Yeah, right. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukradowski here of WeAreChange.org, as we have a lot of important information to get into that, of course, at this time, the corporate media wants you not to talk about. And that, of course, is the story of the decade that has ever so been suppressed. Right now, during the holiday break, we have this major development, which specifically I will be talking about in great detail, and a lot of the larger implications that, of course, are kept away from you and the general public. But before I do that, plus a lot more, the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is by Conservative Mama, and she does absolutely great work. We're going to link to the full video down in the description below so you could watch and check out more of, more of her stuff. But her characterization of these latest major changes by the CDC have absolutely hit the nail on the head, as of course the CDC director was just on CNN and was literally talking about how this major change of, of the quarantine that went from 10 days to 5 days as requested by the Delta CEO a couple days ago, quote, it really had a lot to do with what we thought people would be able to tolerate. Yes, that is the head of the CDC, Rochelle Walensky, literally admitting, telling the general public that they're creating policies that are not based on science, that are not based on health and safety, that are not based on actually helping the people out there, but they're based on what people will, will tolerate. Yeah, again, this is why I have to agree with people like Aaron Rodgers that literally just came out on the national stage and said science that can't be questioned is just propaganda. He is absolutely correct, as of course, the CDC hasn't issued any new data, any new findings, any new studies to, of course, back this major decision up. And it shows you the flippant nature of their decrees that have an absolute horrible effect on our life that are not even backed by science. It's backed by a lot of propaganda. It's backed by a lot of cult-like ideology of people not willing to even question what they're told. And right now, especially as the U.S. is setting the world record for new cases in 24 hours, we should be asking a lot of questions. Now, of course, a lot of the corporate media is using this statistic as a way of, of, of fear-mongering, as a way of scaring people. They, they, they don't really tell you that there's a new variant that is more transmissive, a lot less lethal, according to their own official version, their official story. And of course, it's not just the United States being reported that they're being hit by this new variant. There's a lot of other places also reporting this as well. While, of course, there's some surprising news from South Africa that looks like it's already recovering from what some in the corporate media are labeling, quote, a viral blizzard, their new talking point that, of course, is being regurgitated on all major corporate media outlets that are just keeping repeating that line viral blizzard viral blizzard viral blizzard and their response to this especially by bureaucrats in washington dc is for everyone to get a product and take a procedure from a business that has no liability at all this as we're also learning according to the new york times according to the daily mail and now even according to the robert Koch institute with their latest report that a significant majority of the people who are getting this new variant who are getting sick or individuals that have taken this product. What's going on here as the FDA has just greenlight the third product for children aged 12 to 15 as the World Health Organization, as the Biden administration, with along, of course, Dr. Fauci and other individuals like Bill Gates are essentially screaming at the top of their rooftops 
to all take this product. What's going on here? Well, we're going to discuss that plus a lot more later on today on LukeUncensored.com as of course there are some topics that we cannot get into. As of course there are some topics that we cannot get into. We will be talking about this extensively as well as all the latest with Dr. Malone with his soon to be appearance on Joe Rogan. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more all exclusively on our very own platform LukeUncensored.com I hope to see you there later on today for our second video that of course is a lot different than this one and I'm starting to essentially really put all my effort into these videos I'm working really hard on them and I've honestly been prioritizing them over these YouTube videos you want to see what's going on sign up lukeuncensored.com right now down in the description below now obviously last night during winter break when almost no one is working no one's paying attention we had a major decision in the Ghislaine Maxwell case which found her guilty on five of six charges and now has the possibility of putting her away for over 65 years in a federal prison sentencing will happen soon we of course will be reporting on that plus a lot more but a jury of her peers found Ghislaine Maxwell guilty of unspeakable actions to children. Now, the maximum she could get in jail is 65 years. Will she do that? We don't know. We do know that Maxwell will be trying to appeal this guilty verdict and fighting another court proceeding right after this one. And very interestingly, the state prosecutors here have not offered Ghislaine Maxwell a deal here if she would have named bigger names. I wonder why. Very importantly, in, in similar court proceedings like this, this there's situations where the federal government says if you give us names if if you give us bigger players here if you if you tell us who else was involved here we will lighten your sentence we will drop some charges we will make sure you have better jail conditions as of right now from all the information that i have garnered the federal government has not approached and tried to strike a deal with Ghislaine Maxwell. As of course, her charges weren't dropped. Other individuals weren't named. Information wasn't leaked here. And now will she be offered a deal to name names to get better prison conditions? I highly doubt that will happen. Even though some corporate media organizations are reporting that this is a possibility, I absolutely believe it is not. Since of course here, the federal government, in my opinion, conducted an absolute whitewash and cover up of this entire operation. They had an amazing, incredible opportunity to bring people forward to testify to the true reality of this larger international extortion operation, and they failed to do so. Now, Maxwell is going to be put on watch in her prison to make sure that she can't hurt herself, just like her counterpart, Mr. Epstein, was. We saw how that worked out for him. But the fact that G Ghislaine Maxwell didn't name names here, didn't save herself, speaks volumes because there's definitely something foul afoot here especially with the latest information we're finding out that the judge has also permanently sealed the files surrounding this case that of course has protected very powerful individuals who were involved in horrible unspeakable actions that they have never faced justice for right now because of the federal government there are men, powerful men, walking the streets that have yet to be held responsible for their crimes in this court case that are going to hurt more children since, of course, they are above the law. The judge in this case also denied the public information, which she deemed too sensational for the general public surrounding this important court proceeding. This case also surrounds a lot of destruction of evidence by the federal authorities involved here, including the FBI, including the prison authorities, including the Royal Protections officers that have destroyed evidence in this case that they have yet to be held responsible for. And now, as this case is over, everyone is expected to move on, forget about this story. I say, hell freaking no. There was tens of millions of dollars here that is still missing. As Ghislaine Maxwell is claiming that she just had 2.6 million pounds to her name, even though she was wired 22 million pounds by Jeffrey Epstein himself. As of course, the information how Mr. Epstein got his money is still unknown to the general public as of course he had hundreds of millions of dollars and of course no one knew where it came from this as major financial institutions literally broke the laws and regulations in order to funnel his money which of course he used as he conducted operations that brought in small children for very powerful people to do whatever they wanted to do with individuals like donald trump 
Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, Kevin Spacey, Les Wexner, and many others are implicated here, and yet they didn't testify during this very important court proceeding. Prince Andrew is, of course, a very prominent figure who is facing his own civil suit in the United States that he is trying to get out of, as, of course, the victims in this case are saying that with this jury decision, this signals some very troubling signs ahead for Prince Andrew, who, of course, is very implicated here. As, of course, many victims said that there was a sadistic web of very powerful individuals involved here. And right now, Prince Andrew's lawyers are scrambling, and according to the Daily Mail, already holding emergency talks. As, of course, there's a major court proceeding that absolutely implicates him and might potentially even highlight the future of another court proceeding. With one of the victim's defense attorneys saying here, quote, Andrew should be shaking in his boots as of course this verdict now makes prince andrew a self-confessed close friend to multiple people who have hurt children in unspeakable ways now of course there's also some victims that are feeling relieved here and that is something that is uh, significant is worth noting this should be the start of many things to come especially with so many powerful individuals here still walking free still hurting children how in the world could our justice system be still protecting them is the question that everyone should be asking. And if you agree, share this video with your friends and family members so they understand the larger scope of exactly what's going on here. Because the information that we just got is just the tip of the iceberg here. We only know 1% of exactly what was going on here. The truth gets far more sinister, far more disgusting, as it is estimated that thousands of children were involved here. Their lives matter. They deserve justice. This is what I stood behind, as, of course, the corporate media for a very long time has been excusing this behavior, ignoring it, and even at many instances promoting Epstein and his operation, highlighting how he was living a life of the rich and glamorous. That right there is some soul-sucking, sinister, disgusting behavior that, of course, the corporate media committed for a very long time. Independent media was trying to bring light to this issue, was one of the few institutions that was talking about this issue, and, of course, this could be one reason why we're so heavily censored and attacked. The only thing stopping that is you sharing this video, being a part of independent media, and because you are, I'm still here. I got another video coming your way on LukeUncensored.com. I love you guys. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Stay tuned for more on WeAreChange.org.